So I think we're slightly out of context, but... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, it's Malcolm and I'm Jonas, and we're presenting you today Santini at Home. So, where does this come from? Um, as a background, as architect and also in the past model builder, I tend to make quite a bit of like this architectural bedside table lamps. And yeah, it's now five years ago that I made these. Um, and recently, actually last, sum last summer, I started again and made this uh, lamp of the Julio tool. And I thought for this hackathon, as kind of like a side project of mine, to maybe try and make this as a turn this into a configurator and actually have a product somehow. Uh, so for like expanding the scope a bit outside of uh, what the Yuri Return does, we kind of decided to look at this uh, Baroque architects like uh, Santini. Uh, we would use a couple of Boromini. And Boromini, I think we all know for like these very uh, geometrically uh, pure uh, churches that he did, and especially mostly in Rome. And here, this is my part where I came into play. Um, I'm also from architecture background, but have very little knowledge about coding. So sometimes it's hard to find like the um, start when I'm surrounded with such experts like um, you all, and. Then Jonas came up with this idea, and I found it was a good uh, thing to get a start and use my existing knowledge of um, Rhino and Grasshopper to come up with like geometric ideas and a parametric model um, for multiple shapes of this um, tower or lamp. And it was created with like different subdivisions of circles and uh, offsets and then creating like these arcs and build up a mesh and um, then there was a post processing of the uh, geometry um, with like rotations and warping and I provided like the parametrics or the data for, to build up a data model and bring it into web what was Jonas part. And so the final result was actually an online web app. This is now the interface and one of the examples that we have. And we also have, uh, well, it's not even a live demo. You can just access it online. Uh, it's on my GitHub repository. You can sit on GitHub pages. It's still a little bit um, yeah, heavy, let's say, on uh, the parametrization and a little bit opaque. <laughs> So this is for sure one of the main improvements that needs to be made towards the future. And right now I'm using a very lazy um, like a vertex reducer for the mesh components. So that needs to also be tweaked. But yeah, if you feel like playing around, this is the link. <coughs>